Good morning, I'm meteorologist Elizabeth Gardner. We are looking at a hot week ahead. Our highs will be in the 80s all the way through the weekend. Let's take a look at the big picture. We do have some severe weather across the middle of the country right there um, along the Mississippi Valley, uh, down through parts of Texas and Louisiana. We're going to see a cold front come here tomorrow, but it is not going to bring us that kind of severe weather. We may see a few isolated thunderstorms. Right now, we're not under any risk from the Storm Prediction Center. We take a look at future cast, and we'll see more cloud cover tomorrow. We're going to skip today because it's going to be beautiful with mainly clear your skies but late uh, late tomorrow we'll have the chance of a few isolated showers or maybe a thunderstorm or two notice as that cold front gets closer to us uh, by eight or nine o'clock once we hit sunset it's going to lose some some of that daytime heating energy and it really fizzles out but the front will stall to our south during the day wednesday and then start to lift north and as it does it's likely to spread more showers and thunderstorms across the area a little bit earlier in the day starting right after lunchtime so we'll have a better chance for showers and storms on wednesday our temperature of course, they're going to be uh, mild. We have uh, wind coming out of the southwest helping to warm us up. The winds are 5 to 10 miles per hour today with some gusts up to around 15 miles per hour. It's going to be a warm day today. At lunchtime, 78, but the humidity today stays fairly low, so it's still going to be great to uh, spend your lunch hour outside, uh, eating out, uh, on a walk, whatever you can do to get out and enjoy some lunchtime uh, outside. 85 in Raleigh, Durham, and Fayetteville. Those are our high temperatures for today. Our monkey meter is still coming today, but even starting tomorrow, it begins to creep up. We'll have that chance for some showers and thunderstorms late Tuesday and into Wednesday. That's going to bump it up. And once it bumps up, it's going to stay that way. So we get into the tolerable zone on Thursday and Friday. That means that you'll notice the humidity and our temperatures are going to stay pretty warm too. Let's uh, uh, take a look at our 24 hour or look at our temperature change. And we're above normal. You can see the yellows and the oranges with us for much of the week. Our normal high is 76 and 88 is likely to be the warmest day of the week. We might squeak out a 90 degree day at uh, RDU. If we do, it'll be the first time this year that we've hit 90 degrees.